Hello everyone, hello peeps, welcome back to another video on the Mancubs channel today. We're going to be doing some more questions on the paper, the NXL GCSE higher paper, whatever. That was today that we all sat doing some really challenging questions, so let's get on. If you want to see some of the other ones, they are in the end card, some of them, and then I'll put the rest in the description or the pinned comment. So let's get straight into it. A cuboid has a volume of 300 centimeters cubed, surface area of 370 centimeters squared, a length of 20 centimeters, but the width is greater than the height. Work out the height. So first of all, I'm going to draw a nice little cuboid for us to to um draw. We know the volume equals 300 centimeters cubed. Where my cursor is gone? Not up there. Why are you up there? 300 centimeters cubed. And the surface area equals 370 centimeters squared. So let's label the length, which here is going to be 20 centimeters across here. Now, this is, I think, I only realized this near the end of the exam, but since our volume is going to be length times width times height, and we have our volume as 300 equals 20 is our length times width times height. Let's just label this as width and this is height. Then our width times height is going to equal 15. So that means they have to multiply together to 15, right? So we know that since we know that they have to multiply to be 15 and we also know that the width is greater than the height so let's look at the surface area the surface area is just not 3a the surf the surface area is going to be two lots of every face that we can see these three faces so it's going to be two lots of 30 sorry two lots of 15 because this is 15 this face plus two lots of height times 20, so we've got 20h, plus two lots of width times 20, which is 20w, and if we simplify that, we get 30 plus 40h plus 40w, right? And we know that the surface area equals 370, so we can say that 40h plus 40w equals 340, because we subtract 30 from both sides right then we can just divide by 10 to get the numbers a bit smaller so we get 4h plus 4w equals 34 and then 2h plus 2w equals 17 okay and then what we're going to do we're going to subtract h from both sides to get y to get w on its own so we have 8.5 minus h and then if we substitute it into this equation we get h multiplied by 8.5 minus h, which equals 15, and then we expand the bracket, so 8.5 h minus h squared equals 15. If we make the quadratic properly, like equal to zero, then we can add h squared on both sides. So we get 8.5 h equals h squared plus 15, and then subtract 8.5 h from both sides. And then we get h squared minus 8.5h plus 15 equals 0. Let's multiply by 2 to get rid of this fractional component. And we end up with 2h squared minus 17h plus 30 equals 0. If I use the... I'm just going to quickly use the slide and divide method just so we can save a bit of time. And then we get two solutions. They're both positive, which we both can accept. I'll show you in a moment, though. H equals 6 and H equals 5 over 2. But if we look at one of these solutions, so let's say look at H equals 6, right? Since we know that H plus W have to equal 8.5, right? If we have h as 6, 6 plus w equals 8.5, that means w would equal, or our width would equal 2.5, but that can't be true because 
the width is greater than the height. So that means our height has to be 5 over 2. And that is our final solution. I found this question really, really challenging in the paper. I think my mistake that I have kind of made while doing this video and also cut out, you can see you didn't see it, is I substituted this wrong and I, did, I got a different quadratic and got a different result. So, oh, oh well. So that's that's going to be it for this video. The next few ones, or the previous ones, or whatever in order, are going to be in the end card or in the description, pinned comment, whenever. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that great YouTube stuff. Share as well, all that great YouTube stuff that YouTube people like to say. And I'll see you the next time, video, previous video, or whenever. Goodbye.